hi guys welcome to another video in today's video i'll be showing you how to make this effective lip scrub if you know you have dry lips you have cracked lips this scrub is going to help you it will not only scrub your lip it will also moisturize it for this lip scrub we're going to be using sugar shea butter vitamin 50 castor oil lavender essential oil vitamin e oil and food coloring so let's do this. I'll go in with my BTMS 50 and then add my shea butter. The shea butter has anti-inflammatory properties that help to suit irritation and also moisturizes the lip. I'm going to be using the double boiling metal to melt this. I'll do this on low heat. I'm going to leave this to melt and go ahead to measure my sugar. For this, I'll be using 80 to 20 ratio. The sugar is 80% and the oil is 20%. The sugar encourages blood circulation. It also removes stale cells and leaves your lips soft and supple. I will constantly stir my shea butter to make sure it dissolves completely. After this is done, I will take this down and allow it to cool for a bit before I start adding other things to it. <laughs> This is cooling. I'm going to make sure I'm staring constantly to avoid clogging. Mm -hmm. Now I'll go in with our castor oil. This castor oil helps to hydrate the lips and also moisturize it. I'm going to add this and I'm going to turn to make sure they are well combined. Mix this for a while, then I'll go in with my vitamin E oil. This vitamin E oil acts as an antioxidant. It helps to prevent the lip scrub from going around seed. And not only that, it helps to moisturize the lips also. This lip scrub has many moisturizing properties. so. It will not only moisturize your lip, it is going to also leave it very soft and supple and then also prevent cracking. to add our food coloring when doing this we have to do this gradually to make sure we don't add excess you can decide to not add this it is optional and you can also use pigment but make sure the pigment is safe for the lip and after mixing this i'm going to now turn everything into the sugar and then this is where the work begins you have to make sure you turn thoroughly i'm going to go in to mix i'm going to make sure i mix this properly you can decide to use your hand with but because I'm making small batch, I don't see the need to do this. After turning for a while, then I'm going to go in with my lavender essential oil. You can use any essential oil of choice, but I prefer to use my lavender. And then I'm going to see going to stay with my spatula. And then our lip scrub is ready. Mm -hmm. 